set sail into the moon Tell tall tales to the morning view Our plans and schemes seem so serene Amongst the stars red, gold and green Good afternoon, good evening. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop. Hello. 
Welcome everybody. What you got going on today? Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday to you. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday to you. How's everybody doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Got everybody here partying. Hello, Tracy Albert and Valerie and Linda Lindsay and uh, Lori Clark and Beverly. Hello. Oh, sorry about the COVID there, Beverly. Hello, Lynn Bylas. Hello, hello. From, um, Pat Remenschneider, I saw there too. And Valerie Glizel. Oh, uh, well, continued prayers for your sister. Oh, yeah, Miss Gwendy's sister. I know. I'm sorry to hear that. Hello, Balloonist. Hello, June Adele. Hello, Marie Brands. After all she says, she's so excited, she's yelling. <laughs> Oh, I did get your text there, Tracy. I wanted to go on to the website first to see if I can get a, like, what I could get you price-wise because I try and get you as close to what I can get, right? So, uh, doing great, beautiful weather today. Very nice. Excellent there, Miss Lois. we got beautiful weather here today. It's about 17 degrees and it's sunny. Uh, and there's a little breeze. Not too bad. Beautiful, cool behind. Thank you. Uh, that was uh, courtesy of the Create, Imagine, and Enjoy channel, again, for one of its fabulous patterns that's been out there for free, free, free for everybody. So join that group. It's great fun. Uh, and I did it with a sideways panel of dogs playing poker. I've had that panel for a very long time. I had no idea what I was going to do with it. When I saw this pattern being shared, I'm like, that's what I'm doing with that panel. So it's that weird panel you just don't know what to do with. Shading, bing, 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 bing. Right? Dogs playing poker. Okay. So I figure, I figure this is this is this these these are my girls. These are my moderators, and then this is the pop the supervisor. <laughs> They're all like gaming it out. <laughs> Actually, when I get that finished uh, quilting that up, it's going to be for sale. So, uh, and then I have another one here that I have set out with color wise and everything cut for the pattern. And it is this type of panel. Okay, so this is one that you can actually cut in half if you like or so on and so forth. I like it just the way it is. It just needs a little bit of trimming on this side. And it's like hair, hair on this side just to slightly square it up, right? So perfect use of that as well for this pattern so don't don't think you have to have the, a certain type of panel to go with this project so this these are the colors that i chose for this one it's some uh dark blues and some grays and then i've even got like a uh, buffalo check uh, plaid there so that'll be up for that one and then this one here this panel i believe was gifted to the quilt shop i think it's it was either nadine or miss gwenny and it's fall and it's a perfect size for this, and this will be going this way, okay? So you can do horizontal or vertical with the pattern. The penguins are adorable, aren't they? So yeah. Hi everybody, hello Susan. Hello, hello. I'm not selling you guys. <laughs> but I just, when I was doing it up, I'm like, hey, look at this. It's like, it's like my homies were hanging out with me. Yeah, so we'll be working on this one today, and I have colors very similar to the one behind me. I switched out the green to not such a bright green, and I switched out, uh, no, I didn't switch out the red. No, I didn't. I just think Oh, and then the outside border is this beautiful uh, pop of orange, okay? Okay. I'm so relieved. <laughs> oh, June Billings. Oh, Elizabeth. Oh, Charlotte. Hello, Katie. Hello, Miss Helly. How you doing? Hello, Nancy. Hello, Quilton with Stephanie Stitches. Well, thank you very much. It's a little chilly uh, for for in here earlier, so I, I had to put on a sweater. So, because uh, most of our like t-shirts are all just t-shirts, right? For mom, pop, so. I thought you did, Nadine. I thought you did. I thought it was either Gwenny or you. So, but is and now it's going to be a beautiful thing. We're going to work on that today. So we're going to show you how to. Cut the panel to what you need it for. Uh, there should be a link in the description below. Yep, an exclamation pattern. An exclamation pattern. Okay. Hello, Giovanna. Sorry. It should work. It should work. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Mm, mm, mm. And Sophie says, give me the snacks. Give me the snacks, mama. Give me the snacks. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. I had them ready. I had them all ready. We kind of got crummy bits in the bottom. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do this. And this, and this way out of the way, and that way out of the way. Okay. Come say hi. No, a little more. A little more. There we go. <laughs> Hello, Miss Pauline. How's it going? 
yourselves, Miss Allison. Hello, guess who, Nancy? Hello, Joyce. <laughs> Hello, Pepsi girl. Hello, Viv. I know it's Viv. I'll never forget you, Viv. Never. It's going. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> All right, good girl, Sophie. Good girl. So yeah, that's what we're gonna work on. Okay. So we're gonna work on the fall. So happy fall, y'all. We are into that season, and uh, yeah, the pattern is literally one page is the whole finished image. It's done with a dolphin, um, which is awesome and amazing. And I've seen Miss Asselet, she's done hers with a fairy. And um, what did you do yours with, where Miss Allison? I forgot. Oh, Donna Fane, share Pat Moore, what's going on? Hello, Katie Crafts. Hello, Lena. Good morning, everyone. Love the fall pattern. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Miss, Miss, Miss uh, Nadine gifted it. And the other pages are just two. So I like a small pattern like this. It's easier not to mess up. Did you read it? I did, and I was successful. Look. <laughs> Look. Example. I read. This is where it got me. Uh, no, it is what it is, bub. <laughs> it is. It is. The only thing I, I would like to just uh, make sure you are lining up are these. Hold on. Let's be all teacher mode here for a moment. Are you paying attention, class? Are these like seams right here? Can't see. In here. Oh, hold on. Uh, okay. Like here. Can you see those? Yeah. yeah. These, these ones here. And at the sides where these all meet up, it is, this is a half square triangle here. So this makes it really easy to put together because this is a rectangle, half square triangle, half square triangle, rectangle, half square triangle, square. So really simple to put together. Okay. Not complicated at all. Just follow the pattern. So, but just make sure these all line up because other than that, you're not going to get the dimension you need. So if you have to do a little seam ripping, that's where you do it. You just want to make sure you tweak that just a little bit to get that dimension to look like it's dazzling, to look like it's like spacing out, whatever. So, yeah. Mm -mm, the dog's playing cards back behind you reminds me of grandparents' house. My Bobby, Bobby? Bobby had those pictures hanging on the basement. Well, I'm glad it's, it's going to be up for sale <laughs> as soon as I'm done quilting it. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, so that's what we're working on. Hello, Inga. How you doing? Hello from Sweden. Welcome. Welcome. Happy fall. Hello, Miss Pat Remmerschneider. Campsite trailer and campfire at night. Very nice. Very nice. Is that that long drive that you posted? I think it was like five hours. Is that the, is that how far you traveled to get there camping? Boom. What's it going down? Hold on. Hold it down. Go on. Go on, we got work to do. Okay, you gotta be cute and I gotta work. There you go. Don't pout. Don't go away mad. If I'm playing poker tonight, I'll buy that poker pen. <laughs> uh, let me get it quilted first. And then you can message me if you're serious. Um, okay, so what we first need to do here with this panel uh, piece, we need to make it, we need to trim the panel to 34 and a half by 42 and a half. Okay. So depending how, where your panel goes, whether it's horizontal or vertical, it, it doesn't matter. That's what, that's what it has to be. Okay. Those are the, the pieces. Let me clean up the penguin one first, but yeah, I really like the colors chosen for this. It's got some dark blue, some grays, checkered, and then some pebbly blue, and then some like sharp angles. It looks really pretty. So that'll make, that'll make a nice quilt. Um, add on to these beautiful things right here. Uh, okay, hold on. And somebody sent a gift to the quilt shop. If it was you, uh, please let us know. No, that's the panel I made. We're not traveling while Zach's in the academy. So. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, really? Okay. I'm serious, sold. Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't know how much I'm going to charge for. It could be an arm and a leg and a bag of fluff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh no, Fluff's free. Sorry, I forgot about that. <laughs> Fluff, Fluff's always free. <laughs> if you don't want it, no, we give it away. We give it away, exactly. Okay, so uh, what did I measure on this one? So this panel here measures 36 and a quarter, okay? So 36 and a quarter, and we want to make sure that's going to get to 34 and a half. So that's easy. That's easy peasy. A little trim here, a little trim there. And this here is 45 with the 45 with the salvage so we need 42 so that is a minus of two and a half inches no one and a hold on 42 45 yeah two half morning 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 Cindy well Welcome back, Miss Nadine. Hello, Karen Jones. Hello, Quilting French, she says. How's it going? How's it going? All right, so we want to trim a little off of each side, right? Okay, so this one, so we want to just double check here, was 36 and a quarter. We need to take one and three quarters off of that. So one and three quarters divided by two is what? Five eighths. Mm, how's my math today, peoples? Yeah, definitely take it off each side for sure. You want to square it up. I'm doing good there, Kathy Quilts and Crabs. How you doing? Thumbs up, friends, says Nina. Hello, Lee Allen. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Elma. I'm gonna say I'm I'm, I'm uh, Elma. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Sorry, I couldn't see for the heart in the corner. I thought you were asking me. <laughs> I know, the heart in the corner is annoying sometimes. So, yeah. I got it right. Oh, my goodness. Well, welcome from Texas. Okay, so... Okay, we want to make sure we're down to... 34 and a half. Hi, Sylvia. You're making me very nervous standing there, okay? So if we have, that's one inch, that's one and three quarters. And if we divide the one and three quarters by half, yeah, I'm sure that's like five eighths. So I maybe didn't hear you clearly. Uh, I just finished embroidering my students' names and in order to make fobs for project bags. Oh, nice! That's awesome! My sewing student's projects got tossed by another parishioner who cleaned. <gasps> oh, no! Okay, thank you, Tracy Albert. I just wanted to, like, triple double check before I, I cut it because I don't want to be a dork. <laughs> Though there, it's not part of the pattern. Like, it's just extra color on the side, so it's not a big deal. Oh, my goodness, Allison. You need a hug. <laughs> oh my goodness. That sucks. Hello, Miss Tracy Provis. How you doing? Uh, that's quite all right. I just right. got a little surprised by your message. I had, hadn't said anything specific to you. I always enjoy this. <laughs> hey, you can get mixed up for a good time, right? Uh, but mom, I'm a supervisor at the start. Of the yeah, that's true, Charlotte. Just right. Oh, hold on. We got, I got your uh, postcards here. I can, do, can I do them now? I didn't open them all the way. So we didn't get all the way. So I only have our address at the front. Okay. okay. Hi, Mom and Pop. I want to say thank you. Oh, you're going to make me cry. No crying. You want me to go to the overhead? Yes, please. Thank you. It's so pretty. Beautiful piece of art. There we go. I'm not showing any address. Okay. I'm not. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't have flipped it over otherwise. I'm... No, I meant on the Oh, this. Oh, oopsies, what a dork. I'm sorry. And the beautiful, thank you so much. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to go put it under the long arm right now. 
Number two. Allison's number one. Charlotte's number two. <laughs> Hold on. I tuck it under the plastic for safety. Thank you, thank you. That was very really nice of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is. I'm all sappy face. <laughs> Okay, now we want to do this right. Make sure our edges are nice and clean. Hold on, I'm going to need a Kleenex. This was really sad. <laughs> Thank you, Charlotte. <laughs> Suzanne Taylor, stay hydrated, everybody. Okay, so for these, this panel here, let's go for the overhead for just one second so I can show some colors. Okay, is the similar brown that I, same, same brown that I have in the one behind me. This kind of a rusty kind of color here. The black. And then I to chose the more of an olive or avocado kind of green instead of that bright green. And then this color here is that outside border. So I should pull it all together. Okay. Hey, Deborah, how you doing? Didn't get the memo. <laughs> well, at, at the back of Walt, you can go back to Maine if you like. Um, at the back of Walt is where normally you would put pantos to do pantos. And I'm not saying I'll never use that space for pantos, but in the last, you know, seven years I've had him, I've, I never have. So I'm not saying that I won't, but so I thought if people wanted to send in a postcard, I can stick it behind the plastic under behind Walt and it fills up a nice big space of what, 12 feet by a foot and a half. And you got a permanent postcard hanging out with Walt. So. So going around all the thing with the oh each postcard, each postcard and oh onto a that's amazing that might be an interesting that's amazing idea you heard it here first people okay that's if you want if you want to be in the panto <laughs> yes in the postcard you know you know where I hang out Nadine <laughs> yeah you should get your your quilt project soon for your nephew coolie I I know right right Allison. Oh, then it's got to go. Okay, so we got to go. We'll leave you playing. Hopefully my drinks meeting won't be too long and can get back. A friend who we need to do building jobs for us. We'll keep him sweet with a pint. <laughs> there you go. Keep him in your pocket. <laughs> keep good friend. Uh, yeah, so those are our colors for this project. Okay, so let's get crack a lack in. What do you do with all those quilts and crawfish pieces? Uh, it you know, uh, some for charity, some for family, some I just keep in the shop because I want to display them because they're beautiful. Some we give away, right, Marie Brandt? Right, right? <laughs> uh, Kelly A has been a winner of one of our quilts. Um, uh, they were a part of our member section. Uh, Gwenny Simpson's been a winner of one of our quilts. Um, uh, uh, Jenny Graham's been a winner of our tree skirt. We, had, we did a tree skirt project. Uh, that was very um, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So uh, there's been quite a few winners. Quite a few winners. Um, um, Donna Faye. Donna Faye's been a winner of one of our quilts, too. So uh, one of Pop's original designs. S. So an S. Taylor one. Yeah, so the S. Taylor one won as well. You guys stop giving stuff away. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't want to sit in the loser chair. <laughs> well, I, I don't want to say loser chair. It's the no winner chair. Loser. Well, a loser just sounds a bit harsh. <laughs> And with a name that starts with L, you get it lo quite often. <laughs> it can't be a winner without being a loser first. Well, true that. I won a Sewing Street couple. Yes, way back when. That was like ooh-ons and new-ons. It was a pop, Pop's birthday stream, I think it was. I called it a loser chair. <laughs> oh, yes, Lee Allen won as well. Yes, that's right. The Green Star. The green scrappy star. That was beautiful. That was such a beautiful project. I had some, I had some fun because we used the um, 
Uh, it was a certain ruler. The binding tool. I think we used the binding tool for it. Yes, Diane Birch won the uh, Get to Know My Neighborhood. Yeah, that was such a fun project. I have to say that. That was uh, really a good one. Oh, Sheila Grimes, how are you today? Hello, Lori Sh 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 Shrek. Shrek. Mm -mm. I think we need three measure. Probably. I know we will. I know I need uh, five eights on each side. Seven eights. No? It's five? She just said seven eights. Oh, did she? Uh-huh. She changed her mind. Oh, okay. 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 Well. Maybe we need three measures just to make sure. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. All right. Rather, rather be safe than sorry. So, okay. So let me just move this so it's on a straight line. And we'll go the seven eighths on one side. Right? Right? I'm believing in you, Tracy. <laughs> I should demo math, but I apologize. Dump it up. Okay, this is the this way. And it's 34. And uh, it's at 36. And we got to get it to 34 and a half. So, da 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 Please don't let that be a bing that I just made a wrong cut. <laughs> Please don't let that be a bing. Well, see, I can double confirm on this side. That, yay! Yeah, yeah. Well, no matter what, I'm cutting this at 34 and a half. So, uh, if, if anything, it would be slightly smidgenly off. And I don't really care because it's a big panel. Nobody's going to see it from 50 miles away. So, 34 and a half. Confirming 34 and a half. Sold at 34 and a half. million dollars all right so that's what we need for this away now we need to make sure we got this for this away so this is 45 and we need 42 and a half that's a two and a half off right so that makes it one and a quarter on each side correct easy math, easy math exactly it's the seven eights and the eights of thingies that get the little kaboozling what are you making? I'm gonna make some trouble. I'm actually making this design using a panel, but with the fall one. Let me get it cut and I will show you. And it's uh, exclamation pattern or it's in the description below. So we line this up nice and even before we make any drastic cuts. Okay, right, and we know we need one and one quarter off each side okay but if your panel had more of maybe a, a darker border on one side and not the other you could take it all off from that one side if you wanted to short it you know what I mean so instead of taking it off the top you don't have to do it uh, by both sides <laughs> every friend's ditched you <laughs> she's like girl I'm out <laughs> All right, so that's on the inch. Hold on, are we? Okay, and we'll go a quarter. And then we'll flip and make sure we're doing it right on the other side. Okay. To get our 42 and a half. Oh, move that over there. It needs to be on the half. The half. No, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Back over here. There. There we go. One and one quarter. One and one quarter. Okay, and then flip. <laughs> Hello, Pat Bowman. How you doing? Uh, no, not panel. Uh, it's a pattern. Did I say panel? I don't know. If I said panel, I'm sorry. I meant pattern. pattern. I'm so sorry. Hello, Miss Annie O. How you doing? Keep entering the giveaways one day. Your luck will turn. Exactly. It did for Marie Friend, and she thought she had to work that day. Oh, my God. I would have cried. I literally would have cried. Because she had just almost said, like, a little bit ago, like, you know, before I got to go to work, I don't want to go to work. And then to pull her name up, it, oh, my God. I would have cried. Big, big fat tears of sadness. Okay, so 
Now with that trimity trim trim true, we are at 42 and a half. Wow, you did it right. You did it right. Hello, Claudette. How you doing? Okay, so those don't really need. I'm taking credit for it too. We did it right. We did it right. Pop was there to aid me. Okay, so here's the panel that we're working with, okay? So whether you have a, a vertical pattern panel or a horizontal one like the one behind me, dogs playing poker, you can do the same thing. Ah, Chasey Albert, you're so sweet. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it turned out really cute. I really like it. I like how the I chose a green that makes the greens pop in the quilt. I love green. Green's one of my favorite colors. So, and then I chose uh, for, to pop the reds, part of the reds in here, like for the chips on the table to the, the, the tones in the background. You can kind of pull from a few different colors, actually. And then from the tones of the dogs, I chose the golden um, black batik sort of thing. And then the last little pop, uh, burgundy, just to kind of settle down between the, the browns and the reds. Hello, Miss Bernadette. And then this one here says Happy Fall. I've got some of the similar colors. I've got these two of the similar colors with the black, but it's just a different green and then an orange to pop on the outside. So, all right. So now what we need to do is start building our sides. And it wants you to do the long sides first and then the short sides, okay? And of course, it's always telling you to refer to the charts, but we need to cut our material first and get our half square triangles all in order because we need to make 40 of one type, Oh no, cut 40 of one type. We need 32 of A units and 24 of B and C units. So that is our next step. Okay, so let's pop our panel off to the side here. And let's get our two and seven eighths cuts of fabric that we need to make into two and seven eighths squares. So we'll put our two and a halves off to the side. Those are our row pieces. These are the for to make them so they all link together. So they all look like it's all pretty and easy, but or hard, but it's not. <coughs> Thank you, Diane Birch. Once I get it all quilted up, it's going to be for sale. But that seems like Lori Clark's already put her finger on it, so I don't know. <laughs> Could be a battle going on. <laughs> hey, Nikki, how you doing? I have a panel that this pattern. See, I don't think. There is a bad panel that this won't work on. This is the one you use for that panel. You just don't know what to do with, right? And I've got a few. I've got like a lot. I think I'm just going to make a video one day of what panels I have here. <laughs> and, and if anybody was interested in one in particular, <laughs> to message me. Okay, so here's our two and seven eighths by the width of the fabric. Okay, except for that one. I think that's a two and a half. Or, uh, yeah, uh oh, did I? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Just try to separate the two and a half from the two and seven eighths. There we go. Now, we need to cut these all up into squares. Instead of just um, counting how many I needed, I literally just cut the whole pieces up into because you end up getting a bunch of little squares left over. <coughs> Who says you're not <coughs> going to use them for something else? Sorry. <coughs> Yikes. Why, well, thank you. This is a sweater that uh, my sister Elizabeth mailed me. I think it was uh, the first birthday here. For my 50th birthday, yeah. I had a bunch of my mom stuff in it, remember? Some spoons and stuff, and this was in there too, so. Uh, it's white, and I'm not usually well, good with white. <laughs> so, but I needed a sweater today, so, so I'm like, I'm gonna grab that one. So, why thank you, I appreciate that. Hello, Gladys, how you doing today? The competent quilter, Gladys. She's here to stay. So what I was doing was stacking them on top of each other. Not a lot, just a, a couple. 
So you can cut them all at the same time. Okay. Because you got to cut them all anyways. And you're already counting this fabric away for this project. But you do end up with a little bit of this and a little bit of that left over. So, which is very handy McDandy. So, because that goes in the scrap pile. Scrap pile, scrap pile. All right. Just trying to make sure these are a little bit more on top of each other. Because I know you don't want any angled cuts. And if you don't stack too many, you, want, you want, shouldn't have too much shiftage. And kind of lay it on the line. Make sure you're straight. Okay. Do, do. Okay. <clears throat> now you got to cut at uh, two and seven eighths. Okay. First, we're going to just square up the end here. Okay. And then we'll measure from that. Equal pressure. Push away. These little bits you can save for stuffing or scraps or what have you. That's completely up to you what you do with your extra bits. Okay. Now we're going to make squares out of this. Are we going overhead or? Thank you, Yeah, this is a good time for so, Yeah, thank you. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's cold there. Uh, we, I think I had 17, but I, I get chilly often. And when the, the shop doesn't actually warm up to, to 17 or 18 into your shop sorry. uh sure yeah once once we get the f the few things we need to get finished we'll definitely do a, a walkthrough it's more of a studio than it is a shop so for now okay so those are two and seven eighths we're just going to push them off to the side and then line up the next set it's always nice to just kind of lay it back on a line so you know you're coming in nice and straight on all lines. Here's the seven eighths we want. There's the one right next to the three for the two and seven eighths. We want to make sure that's laying on the line on the top of all these bits of fabric here, okay? Now even pressure just like this. And then depending on which sort of uh, ruler uh, cutter you use, just be careful. set them up, separate them in their color stacks in a minute and how many we need. Okay, let's just to make sure I'm staying straight on the, on the square cuts. We don't want no diamond cuts when we want squares. Oops, two and seven eighths. Like I say, I just I just cut the whole thing. I, I thought there was, there was it wasn't gonna go to waste no matter what. So I would put the scraps in the scraps. And then we'll refer to the pattern of how many we need of one set and how many we need of the other set, and then the rest will go in the scrappy pile. Okay, let's move this up just a little bit, right on the line. Wanna make sure we're staying square as much as possible. And these two, they don't, they're not much. They're maybe an inch and a half. You could probably use them for maybe some out side border pieces if you wanted and that is that okay so that's that for those ones and then these pieces stay nice and long we just end up cutting them to the lengths that we need as we're building it out okay so here we'll put those in our piles that we need <clears throat> thank you oh you're making me sorry I thought you were gonna cut too big oh when I moved to the, <laughs> the three and seven eighths <laughs> Oh, jeez, sorry. <laughs> it just scared me. <laughs> yeah, bring it in. Thank you, Deborah. Oh, thank you, Deborah. Stay hydrated, everybody. Big hugs to you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Three o'clock in the morning in Australia. But I'm a bit tired. I am never 
awake at 3 a.m. Unless it's a potty breaker. <laughs> but Pop's always awake. You can always message him. <laughs> no, that means our time. It'd be way different their time. <laughs> Was working on the first Sudoku block, of course. I messed up. Oh, no, Kelly Cruz. I liked your hand-stitching tutorial that you made. So you had to make your diamonds and stuff like that, and where you're coming up for where the binding is and stuff like that. I like that. I like that very much. I'm never waking. No, no, no. no. Oh, you are too, Tracy Provis. Okay. You're always awake at 3 a.m. <laughs> Okay, so let's put our stacks of colors first, and then we will count from there, okay? So we got four colors. Uh, this one is saying, like, uh, the four, the, what I'm using as a green color here is five-eighths of a yard, and then we have a half a yard, which I would use for the red, and then a half a yard, which I've used for the tan here. Here, let's go half, half so you can see what I'm talking about here. Mm, okay, why did that not work? Okay, I can't see it change, but okay, it changed on the... Okay, so these are the colors. So these, these are the fabrics. Here, so here's my A, here's my B, here's my C, and here's my D, okay? And of course, you can do this in any colors you like. This is the, what the pattern has here. And it has you working the long side first and then the short side, okay? As you refer to how to explode the quilt pattern, okay? Tells you to take A2 and D1, they're over here. A2 and then D1s, okay? So as you're cutting them, okay? So let's go this way. So we'll put those in our stacks. It, it certainly adds to it. And then you could even do it outwards if you wanted to with other border fabrics. Like you make it a little bit bigger, put another border, put another border, put another border. But definitely those, those where they line up, do, 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 like there, do, 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 and there, 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 there. Uh, very important, okay. I'm awake, can't help it. <laughs> yeah. if, if I'm awake, it's not for very long, so. And that's been a good day. We, uh, Pop and I were in the shop earlier. We took down the supports that was for the garage door. So that's all out of here. We took out all the old insulation that was around the door uh, or the plastic off of it, the card, the cardboard paper that was there. Uh, we're ready to put the new insulation in and the um, plastic barrier. So I'm excited, excited for that. We'll get that done tomorrow. So we're all ready to go. What I thought was going to take like five minutes earlier today took like two hours. So I'm like, okay, I better stop or I'm not going to have any energy for stream. <laughs> and I want to hang out with my homies. I have two panels, but I'm not brave enough to cut them. Oh, why? Why, Nikki? What's, what's up with them? Do they have um, like the polar panel? Do they have like pictures in them like squared up or and you don't want to cut around them or... You just don't want to even square it up. Prepping for winter. Oh, yes, I hear you there. Uh, I'm working on a panel you sent me just putting flying geese and boards around it. Oh, birds around it. Oh, nice. Very nice. Excellent. I bet you it's going to look gorgeous. My quilting philosophy. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'll have to read that later, Kelly. Hey, Patricia. Hello from Wisconsin. New subscriber. Well, hello, Patricia. Welcome. Want to play some poker? <laughs> it's what we're doing with a panel, but I'm working on a fall one. Okay. So, okay. Um, so that's how you can do it. Uh, same same pan, a pattern and everything. It's just that's horizontal, and then we're going to do this one, and it's going to be vertical. Okay, we've already squared it up to what it needs to be. It's 34 by 40, 34 and a half by 42 and a half, and now we're just getting all of our little pieces. These squares here, right here, the half square triangles that link up to make these. These are just rectangle pieces, and then there's a half square triangle, and then a square fabric. So what we're doing right now is prepping all these little half square triangles that go all the way around the quilt, okay? 
And then this was another panel that I had that I'm going to do the same thing with. I did. I went and found three. I'm like, all right, one, two, three. Let's 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 see how how we could do it with three totally different panels. Okay. And then this one here is with penguins. And I just need to trim off the sides here. The, this from to the, the top to the bottom just needs just a slight trimming because it's a little furry. I may even take take off more than a little bit and then add a piece. So I haven't decided that because it's like right on the, the 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 chuck there. So I have a Grinch panel. This I, I would it would work beautiful, Betty. It would work beautiful. I want to try attic window with it. The panel is Stone Edge Windswept panel. Oh, I'd like to see that one. Okay, so let's this over here. And those who may have missed it, this is how uh, prints turned out. Okay. Oh, turn around the other way. <laughs> yeah, that's how prints turned out. It's a big red truck with pumpkins. Oh, that's a cute one. Oh, look, I made myself a bib. Just need one of those clips like the dentist have with the little, you know. Choo -choo. I got myself a bib. I got myself a bib. Fancy bib. So somebody sent me um, a gift. It came uh, without a um, message or anything. So um, if it was you, it would have aided in this project. So if it was you, could you please say something in chat? Because we didn't get anything to go with it besides what it was ordered. So. Oh, you're welcome, Patricia. Happy to have you here. Yeah, so he was uh, English paper piecing, and then I put him on a Dresden. So nothing else fancier than just just, just a, a plain old Dresden left over from a, pl a project. So, yeah, I thought, why not? Do, do, do. Yeah, he turned out awesome. Prince looks amazing. We'll just have to put him there because he's not allowed on the wall right now. He's on that broom. Okay, so for all of these, we're going to mark the back of them. Okay. Um, I did it on the black the last time with pencil, but there was a couple times I thought it was a little bit fady. So I think I'm going to mark them on the back of these, but we're going to figure out how, how much we need first. Okay. Or how many we need first. He turned out amazing. I'm so happy with him, Allison. <laughs> I really am. I'm just like, oh my gosh, he's just so cool. I'm sort of new to sewing. I'm so nervous. Oh, don't be. Don't be. Don't be. Don't be. I know it's easier to say than done. So, okay. So you would probably just want to trim that up instead of cutting it, cutting it up, right? The red truck with the pumpkins. So I would do something similar like this or uh, depending the size of it, if, if it's not as big as the, what it needs to be here, like 34 by 42, but most, most panel thingies are usually, um, then you can always add a border or two and then start this pattern project, right? So, hello, Katie, guilty, uh, tied you over until uh, you find yours. Oh, <laughs> okay, thank you. I wanted to make you a prince yourself, but what color? You tell me what color and I will make you a prince of your very own. Okay, you tell me. I'm serious. I I I no kidding. I no kidding. Look at right now, Irina. Right you tell me the color. I make one and then I mail it to you. Okay. Okay. Because I appreciate that. It was very nice of you. And that's my thank you. Uh, for me, the cutting into my uh, precious fabric. I was petty. <laughs> was the worst part of it. All right. Well, I appreciate it very much. Um, okie dokie 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 dokie. Uh, what do we need here? We need, so of A and D, we need 32 units. So A is my green, so I'm going to count 32. Oh, 32 units. Hold on. So one's going to make Ooh, right, still cut 32? I don't know, hold on one second here. What does it say how many I need? Uh, of the squares. Uh, the two and seven eighths. 
16. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. Man, that makes sense. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, so that's the extra pile. So there's that, and then we'll need to count sixteen uh, black pieces, which are D to go with them. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen. Okay, so that's that. I just need to mark the backs of that one. Now, uh, for the second color, which is, well, we need twelve. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so two pieces left over. Okay, and then we'll count the blacks for that. The D, the fabric D. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so that's A and B sorted. Now we need C, and we need 12 of those as well. Okay, so 1, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, extra file, and then twelve more on top of this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. See, that's what I mean. You might as well just cut. You only get a couple little bits left over. It's not a big deal. All right, so now we're going to mark the back of each of these diagonal. So whether you use even you got seam tape or you just use one line and sew on the diagonal uh, either side of that by a quarter of an inch, uh, whatever is uh, comfortable and makes you happy. Okay. So, but you do need to mark for two sews because we're going to cut right in between. And this two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths, when it's cut, really, if you've done it correctly, you should only have to snip off the dog ears. That's it. So I had very little trimmage from the side parts. There was maybe one seam that kind of went a little funky on the bottom. So it might be a little bit shy, but I'll make it fit uh, like I did at the top. But uh, yeah, so two and seven eighths, if you do it bang on right in the middle and you trim, it should give you two and a half. <clears throat> hey, Denise O'Patch, how you doing today? Yeah, just 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 jump in, just jump in there. Nikki. maybe if you want, uh, buy a panel, or uh, if if you want to practice with or something, and you may not like it, you know, may not like what you did, you know, sort of thing. But make sure it's like cheaper discount or something like that. You can always give it away, right? They won't know. <laughs> I'm washing drapes that I made years ago. Oh, fall clean in time. I know, it's spring and in the fall, right? Okay, so we're going to mark the backs of all the, the A, the B, and the C. And since we're sewing it with all with a D, then it's okay. okay. So we're just going to take a few moments to put that in. Hello, Carissa, how you doing? Hello, hello, hello and everyone just says... Yeah, it was starting to get cooler nights. It was down to 9 degrees last night, I think. Um, I know when we woke up the other morning, it was only like 10 degrees, so it was a bit, a wee bit, a wee bit chilly. But the cool, fresh air is just like, ah, oh, so lovely. I love it when it's nice and crisp and cool. Okay. So the lines I'm marking here are the lines I'm going to sew on, okay? And then we trim and then we press. And yes, we press, but they're, they're, it's not so bad. Like I said, if we do a good job, all should, we should have to do is trim off the dog ears. That's it. That's it. And then we should be able to continue putting the project together. So we'll probably be working on this for uh, at least uh, two weeks. So maybe three if we decide to add an extra border to it. Oops. Okay. I'll turn that around. Great sleep. It is great sleeping weather. I love it with the little window. I used to thought my mother was nuts. Middle of winter and she's got the, a crack in the bedroom window open. And I'm like, 
Good gravy mug. Oh, this I sleep so much better with the cool air. And I totally agree. I totally agree. Something about a little bit cool breeze over your face. It just makes for a better sleep. I totally agree. Oh, it's Chris's birthday? Oh good, it's my birthday and I'm so yay! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, Carissa! Happy birthday to you, M&M Hope you have a great day! Thanks for hanging out with us! If I could make you a cake, I would. Imagine a cake. <laughs> yes, happy birthday! Wonderful! That makes me so happy you're hanging out with us! Alright, so those are those. Now we'll flip these guys over, and since they're just a solid, it don't matter. These guys, anyways. I have a question. Has anyone heard from Sass? Is she okay? She's fine. I don't know why she's not hanging out in our live streams anymore. It's a good question, Cheryl. You should probably ask her that. Find her. She's on Facebook. Oh, guess who, Nancy? Hiya, hiya, hiya. Uh, June Hansen. I, I have, I have uh, video chatted with her uh, earlier this week. So it's, it's not that she's, she's not, well, at least she didn't seem like she was mad at me. But it is, it is in the middle of her nighttime. So, and I know she's been hanging out with the babes and stuff. So, you know, there's higher priorities. <laughs> Hello, Cheryl. Yes, welcome. Yeah, she's all right. She's all right. At least that I know of, anyways. <laughs> Pop notes. <laughs> Do not pest your sass. <laughs> How's Donna Huffler today? There was lots hanging out with Sean, the guy who sews, in his chat this morning. Unfortunately, Pop and I were out in the shop working. <laughs> I missed I missed all the streams, so it's a good thing for replay. <laughs> maybe, maybe Cindy Wall. <laughs> Got a surprise package of fabric, so that's every wow, wow, that's that's a great birthday. You got somebody making you some food, or can you at least order out? <laughs> somebody else make food today for you? Yeah, definitely a surprise package of a color fabric. Two kinds of favorite deliveries, chocolate and fabric. <laughs> I take a little from column A and a little from column B. Thank you very much. Nut free chocolate, please. Make sure you stay hydrated. Christmas table runners. Very nice. Very nice. Stepdad just op dro dropped off Chinese food for my birthday. I uh, had half a cheesecake in the fridge. Yeah, I had no idea. <laughs> Who said the fabric? Oh, okay. Well, even better. I love a good little mystery. You have to fill us in. Who sent the fabric? Who sent the fabric? I'm so happy you're back on your machine there, Miss Helly. That's, that's awesome. I know there's some people who've lost their so mojo. They don't enjoy it anymore or they just, you know, they feel like they've done everything they can do and just nothing inspires them. So I, when I saw this pattern and Miss Sass did such a beautiful job on her two quilts, I think she did two actually, if I'm not mistaken. Um, two quilts uh, of the same pattern. It's so easy and versatile. It pretty much goes with anything. That's why I chose the dogs playing poker and then a fall panel and then some penguins like those are the opposites are the opposites the, those are definitely it it's my kind of birthday too oh is it tracy albert really it's 
kind of my birthday. It's Tracy Albert. It's kind of my birthday. <laughs> Oh, that's my kind of, oh, sorry. I thought said, it's my kind of birthday, too. Or my birthday, yeah, whatever. It's okay, I just misread it, I'm sorry. Since I got my air fryer, I don't care for fast food. Uh, the air fryers are so uh, easy for that. Like, especially if you can buy, like, um, you know, breaded stuff or, and you can just toss it in there. Like, they're, at our grocery store, they have stuffed mushrooms, and it's usually of, like, fresh seafood. So there's shrimp or cod or haddock or whatever in the, in the stuffed mushrooms with some spinach and some cheese and bacon or whatever, and they're delicious. And I was like, I love those. And they fit, and it's a little metal pan. You can put it on your barbecue, or I just put ours in the little toaster oven thingy, the food ninja, and away it goes. It's beautiful. <clears> Hello, <throat> oh, Sherry Harris. Uh, I've been away too long. I got a promotion at work. Woot! Had to change shifts, change weekends. Life turned upside down. <laughs> Beginning to settle down a little. You look great. Oh, why, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Here's hoping I can rock it in the afterlife. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, congratulations. That's awesome. Yeah, Chinese food, cheesecake, and fabric. Good times. Yeah, no kidding, right? I'd, I'd take that. Uh, Munchkin went and grabbed us a uh, subway for lunch because uh, it's usually his, his uh, duty to make sure we kind of get fed or things are in motion for foods. Um, I did take out a pork roast for uh, dinner, so he just has to make sure to deal with that. And I think, well, I forgot what else we were having with the pork roast. Hmm. Oh, thank you, June Hansen. It's it's for the very versatile pattern of this dazzling um, uh, pattern by uh, quilt design by E Quilter. Okay, sorry, I'm blah, blah, blah. words were hard today. Uh, it turns out to be a 54 by 62. I think mine was 63 by 55, but whatever. It's it turned out fine. I just squared up the border to what I had my cuts at. So, uh, but it's, it looks really nice. Nothing like a cup of tea and a rainy raw day. Oh, yeah. Yes, you guys have some weather. I was watching it earlier because I wanted to see what was happening with uh, those storms uh, forming south of us. Uh, Margot, uh, there's Ophelia and Philippe now that we're kind of keeping an eye on. It looks like um, Ophelia, which is just south of us or will be south of us, is going to actually putter out to like two storms and then just putter, putter. So it's not even going to hit us, which is good. So... Our daughter is 25 tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. She's camping with friends at our favorite Riverside campground. Uh, it's about 20 minutes from our house. Very nice. Uh, actually, I was talking about uh, a story of taking Munchkin um, camping when he was young, and it was by Blue Lake. Uh, you might know where that is there, Kelly, because it's kind of in your neck of the woods. Um, and we were up there camping. He was maybe one and a half, maybe. He was, he was just still stumbling while walking or running and, you know, getting, getting moving. And we were out for a walk. Um, Pop was at the campfire hanging out with friends and Munchkin and I were out for a walk. And it was like la la la, picking up leaves and sticks and just having a gay old time. And then all of a sudden he leans down, picks up a banana slugs, pops in his mouth and keeps walking. I was completely grossed out. I, I thought he was going to die because I thought they were poisonous or deadly or something. Anyway, so I scooped him up, running him like a football player, you know, down the field, like back to the campsite going, he ate a slug, he ate a slug, you know, freaking out. They're like, oh, don't worry about it. They're relatively harmless. I'm like, relatively? They go, well, either he threw it up or he'll poop it out. And I'm like, either one I'm not thrilled about. <laughs> Either one, either one, I just don't wanna. <laughs> he was fine though, I was more panicked than he was. I like watched him like a hawk all that night too. I barely slept. <laughs> I'm like, is he still breathing? Is everything okay? <laughs> is he breaking out in a rash? I'm with the flashlight over him as he's trying to sleep. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, are you going to bed? Okay, good night, Nikki. Big hugs. Uh, see you. You have a good night too. And message me. Message me if you want some uh, tips or tricks or whatever on panels, or we can discuss some ideas if you want, like maybe different blocks to go around it or something. You know, I'm happy to help. I'm happy to help. <clears throat> Forty-five today. Very nice. Yeah, exactly, Katie. It was. It was. Oh, I couldn't believe. And he was not bothered at all. It must have looked like a nice little candy. 
No. <laughs> 40th wedding anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy, 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 happy anniversary, happy, 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 happy anniversary. Forty's gonna die, no! Hope you have a great day. You got big plans? Okay, this is the last little set to mark here, and then we'll get to sew one. We're gonna get to sew one, I promise we will. I'm sorry it's taking so long. But that's what patterns do when you follow them. Take time. <laughs> My birthday present on the 6th of September ride, two hours and five minutes later. My first great grandson, nine pounds, three ounces. Oh my gosh. That, that's a big baby. That's no small baby. <laughs> hey, Roxanne Sexton, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. That's gross. I had a big five inch slug coming down. Uh, oh, coming around uh, too many times this summer, I had my daughter throw him in the dumpster. He now lives in the trash dump. <laughs> yeah. I <clears throat> I didn't realize they made slugs so big in British Columbia. That's, that's all I have to say. I was coming out from a party from a friend's house one time, and... Oh, oh, these are in different stacks. I'm pretty sure they are. Because one had 12 and one had more than 12. One had 16. Okay, I guess we'll find out when we put them together. Um, anyways, and uh, I ran back in the house and said, oh, look, there's, I think there's a cat that's dead on the sidewalk. And they come out and they go, no, that's a slug. <laughs> it was, it was a big slug. It was a really big slug. I, I can, I can believe it. Yeah, what a fantastic present. No babies. No babies. All right, so we're going to pretty much chain piece them all. We're going to go down one side and then flip them and then go down the other side. Okay. It was it, like it was a, it was a, a, a size. I, I kid you not. I, I was so. Sounds like a fish story. It's not a fish story. <laughs> it was a slug story. <laughs> yes, but in front of Steakhouse. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Put that bait stuff out when you're going to grow lettuce. Hey, Ian, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. It's good to see, it's good to see you too. I have to tell you, I was watching your replay of... Um, you were... You were talking. You asked Lori Clark if the the, the uh, carpets matched match the drapes, and I like snorted my tea. And I laughed so hard. I laughed so hard. And then I was because it was on a replay. I'm like, did he actually say what I thought he said? So I went back and laughed again. So yeah, sitting here, someone very nice. Are you working on your uh, dog? <clears throat> Your dog, um, English paper peasing at you. You had me laughing so hard. I'm still laughing about it. <laughs> I even said to Lori when I saw her in our chat afterwards, I said, when Ian said that to you, I about died. <laughs> and she said it's so unlike you, which is, but it just, it was so funny. And then with you snorting, you just, I think you even surprised yourself, which was even more funnier. Or funniest. Anyways, good to ring Grish. <laughs> it was it was a good laugh. It was a good laugh. It def, definitely uh I'm looking forward to yours and so Becca's and um I think it's Tiffany and Teresa Louise and Sean the guy who sews the on Halloween or not Halloween, the thirtieth of this month, so next Saturday. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. <clears throat> I'm, hope, I'm hoping to catch as much as I can of it anyways. I'm getting the video. Very nice. Very nice. Keep him busy. If you guys don't know uh, Off-Kilter Crafter Ian, just check out his channel. He's awesome and amazing. He sews on a couple of uh, antique machines. He's got a um, singer named Sylvia. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, I was just going to say, I think Lori's actually washing her drapes. So, how funny is that? I'm just going to have some water here. <laughs> I don't want to choke. Mm -hmm. Babysitting Bastion on my own tomorrow. Oh, so much looking forward to it. Oh, yeah, I'm so happy you can too. And he's growing up so much. He's He must be like this little independent thing now. Have you will be fishing? Excellent. Yeah, I think they're hosting it on Ian's channel, if I'm not mistaken. If I heard correctly last night on Becca's. Um... He's talking here, here. I bet he is. <laughs> she is. She absolutely is. She's a good egg. Are they teaching uh, Bastion more than just um, Danish in your native language? Or are they introducing other languages as well? The streamer I watch, he's from um, Illinois and his wife is from Germany and they've been teaching their daughter Emma both the, the whole time. So. Did you want to maybe let the people know the Saturdays we will not be streaming? Because we'll be traveling. Things get wild. Yeah, I can see it. No time at all. It doesn't take much. <laughs> I can imagine it wouldn't take much to get things to go crazy. <laughs> Especially when it's uh, good personalities, you know, fun, fun, loving, you know, comical, out for good time sort of, you know, attitudes going on, right? Like, <clears throat> it's just all good fun. He's watching TV for kids in English, and I'm uh, talking my dad, like, from my home. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. So all three. Wham, bam. That's, that's a lot. But he'll he'll get to know us so much faster. I wish we would have spoken uh, French in, in our household when we were young. But my mom disliked anything and everything to do with the French language. So he told me never go to Quebec. <laughs> I don't know why, but. There we go. Perfect. Thanks, Pop. Make a note of that, people. Those are the day where Saturday we'll be traveling to Ontario, and then the set that other Saturday is the one coming back. So, hello, Bonnie Park. Oh, guess who, Nancy? Watch them uh, as a watch them as a depends time. Watching. Oh, okay, I got you. The depends. Got you. <laughs> that was the other one. Depends on time. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> it's, you better go to the bathroom before the show starts, pretty much. 
No, so sad. Oh, well, you get to watch the replay. We'll have some fun. I'm gonna work on a nice uh, Halloween project. Cause it'll be just a couple of days before Halloween. Halloween. We will have one in between, though, right? The plan. Yeah, we will have the one in between, like the one while we're there. So we're not missing three weeks. We're only missing two weeks, one on either side of the travel. So while we're there for that Saturday, we'll have a, a live stream. So we're just going to do it. Um, I'm not sure from where, but it will be fun. Uh, what, when's, when's your birthday, Lee Allen? Not the 21st? Yeah, we'll have one on the 14th. Yeah, definitely, Allison. Yeah, yeah. That, that'll that be from there. We'll stream from there. It's just we can't, um, as far as I know, we can't stream while driving. <laughs> but you may, I may try to throw something out there. <laughs> I trip over my own two feet all the time, Ian. So I can relate. There was a quilt project you were working on at Sobeka's, uh, I think it was a couple Friday nights or a Friday to Saturday night or something. <laughs> Every time you got up, it seemed like you were tripping over. It felt so bad for you. Oops. Oh, forgot the set. Okay, hold on. We're almost there. And then from this part, like I said, we flip, do the other side, and then we're going to cut and press. So this will be a few stages in this project. Okay. So what we don't finish today, which we will never finish today, uh, try to you know, pick up and take away on next Saturday and then we still have one after that no so maybe I should take this with me we can work on it while there well I mean it really depends we might want to work on that charity so. uh, okay yeah we're gonna do a uh, collaboration with um, pops work and uh, the employees are going to make a block for the charity that his work supports, which is Camp Maple Leaf. Yes. Camp Maple Leaf. And we're going to do up a quilt for that. So I found a couple of free tree patterns. Very easy. Not a lot of seams in it. So these are for new people that don't know how to sew. I've never seen a sewing machine. I've never been sat in front of one. So I wanted to make it simple and easy. I don't want them to be stressed out about making this block. So it's like literally a seam, a seam, and a seam across the bottom sort of thing. You know, um, I'll make sure that part where the trunk is, I'll make sure that's probably all sewn ahead of time so they don't have to worry about those tiny little pieces or whatever. So yeah, so we're, and whatever they don't get done, we'll finish off um via either just you know to get the quilt top done so it's probably going to be a fair size a, a good twin, twin size quilt to be donated in the name of it force to cat maple leaf so yeah that's the plan anyway. that's the plan anyways uh might not be able to be here on the 14th either it depends when my eldest son will invite for oh very nice oh we'll have fun i have a quilt retreat october 28th so i'll have missed the six hour stream I'm triple booked that date, but since I'd already paid for a retreat, it's prior. Oh, yes, for sure. I'd like to know how it goes, for sure. I really would. Uh, they're making a block. So, I don't know if you want to speak on behalf of yourself to the, the... I don't know what else they would ex accept as donation, so I don't, I don't know. Yeah, we haven't even talked to Camp Maple Leaf yet. It's just who our... Who we support. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping that they they would be able to maybe uh, raffle this uh, the, that project off or something. So, but just to know that all the employees of that company made a block to go in the quilt. Of course, it'll come back here and we'll finish it off and then quilt it and and then make make a label with everybody's names on it and stuff like that. So, really, the most of the work is mine. You know, really, 85% of the work will be all me. But it's nice to have, you know, pull, pull together the, you know, teamwork from your employees and, you know, group of people you work with making a collaborative project for the greater good. They're also getting a, a sewing and 
a quilting lesson out of it. So yeah. It'll be a fun evening. I hope so. I get to go in teacher mode. Whoa, whoa. Good thing you're not taking your rulers. <laughs> they got yardsticks there. I can buy a can of <laughs> Having lunch and grocery shop. Oh, nice, Deborah. What you have? Oops. What you have in lunch? What's for lunch? We, oh, we had Subway. Uh, I wanted to say what I had Subway. I tried their salads for the first time. I had a chicken, chicken salad. I had spinach, lettuce. Um, hold on, spinach, lettuce. Oh, red onion. I haven't had red onion in like forever, so I was hoping it wouldn't bother me. So fingers are still crossed. Okay, all right. Now here's our little fun tail. And we're going to go and do it on the other side. Okay, flipped around. And then it's so much easier the second time around. Because you just line it up. And sew in straight. A couple of stitches in between to make the chain. We're going on the chain gang gang. Okay, so close to that line as possible. Like I say, if you do them right, you should just have to trim off the dog ears. You should have yourself a two and a half inch square, half square triangle. Oh, hey Shirley. Welcome, welcome. Whole months without live? Oh, well, that's right. <laughs> well, we will definitely be missing you. We do miss sass. And I think Miss Kelly is visiting Canada or headed up to visit um, parts of Ontario, visit family and friends and do some visiting and sightseeing. How is Shirley today? If I remember correctly, I think I saw you uh, released a video recently. You must be feeling better. That's good to hear. That's good to, always good to hear. Unfortunately, this one does not change when you change the other ones. <laughs> what? This one does not change. Yeah, I found that out when you went to the house. I wanted to tell you that. So I was like, uh, okay, I don't know what's going on here. But I was like, oh, okay. Because I was on the 50 50. You doing well? Oh, good, good. I was happy to see you uh, released another video. So. I think Miss uh, Kelly Crafts and Cruises reached a lovely number on her subscribers. I think she's got 700, if I remember correctly. I'm so proud of you. Awesome. Go, 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 girl. It's a climb. It's not easy, but we wouldn't do it if it was easy. Not much left of it. I've used it on quite a few projects. 
I did a whole quilt uh, with this color and burgundy, and it looks really nice together. <laughs> it's awesome. It's awesome. Just keep putting videos out there. That's all you gotta do. And people will find you, and if they like it, they click the button. It's just as simple as that. Alright, now all those are done. We're gonna clip them apart and then um, cut them apart and then press them. So we're gonna. Uh, no, it might take a little longer than that. So, right. pair of snips. Make sure you stay hydrated. Need some more water. <clears throat> yeah, I'm so surprised. When I saw that, I was like, right on, girl. Right on. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Just a little pair of snips. If you aim it right, you can do the two threads at once. Okay. My sister, Lisa, has been making some awesome bags. She did... Um, a bag for my uh, great niece uh, for ballet, and she put it pink, orange, and white. And oh my gosh, it was stunning! It's a lovely bag. If I, if I saw the picture correctly, my great niece was actually in the bag. <laughs> it was like a uh, kind of like a duffel tote bag sort of thing. It looks it so she did such a beautiful job, such a such an amazing seamstress. Oh, thank you, June Hansen. I appreciate that. I'm giving you a thumbs up, too. <laughs> hey, Kathy Kay. My husband invited me out for dinner. Went to next town to a restaurant we had heard about. Closed for the season. Back home for grilled cheese. Cheap date. Oh, no. Oh, we've done that before. We even got a babysitter. And um, we went. Uh, it was actually a restaurant we were recommended when we lived in Harleysville. Hold on. There was one of these that was a little wonky. Oh, here it is. For some reason, it's got the little corner flipped up there. Not, not by much, though. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought I had to do something, but I don't. Um, <clears throat> so we got a babysitter and everything. It was like the neighbor's kid, and I got to hang out with their mom, and she had a younger brother. So anyway, she was used to younger, younger, younger little munchkins. And uh, so, you know, whatever got... The restaurant was like 45 minutes away or something. We, we, we didn't think we needed a reservation, so we didn't even bother calling. We just assumed it was open. No, it was close for renovations kitchen repair or something <laughs> so i think we ended up grabbing like i don't know burger king which i absolutely dislike completely it was some some like completely opposite of the scale of fancy dinner out <laughs> and went home and she's like well you guys weren't gone very long i'm like no oh see that's a bit off you see how that's off there i think we might have to redo that see how that's a bit off we might have to redo that. Is it off on that side? No? Hmm. Okay, does it measure a two and a half? Or a two and seven eighths? Okay, it looks like that's a bit thick. So that's okay. We can, we can sort that out in the, or we can sort it out right now. Right now, I tell you. Just gone. Can't see nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. Cut all these and then we press them to the dark. Okay. Of course, it is a lot to uh, make at first, but if you kind of do it like a little assembly line, like I did, prep, prep all first, sew them all, cut them all, square them up all. Does anybody have any questions about this project? 
<laughs> you saw nothing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, what you talking about? <laughs> In the park, I tease him that he's lost at the big time spenders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's always nice we can get that nice dinner out, but ever since, you know, COVID, it's been such a different story on eating out. Like, I, I don't even want to anymore. I'd rather order and then pick up and take home, right? To me, sitting at a restaurant does not really even appeal to me, but I'm going to have to change that because <laughs> where, where I'm going to be spending a, a couple weeks, I'm going to have to go and sit in restaurants and stuff, so... I'm I'm nervous about the eating out part, but that that'll I can't I can't do anything about that until we get there. So, oh, okay, that's a little off too. Okay, well, let's just get a leg thick cut on the one, two, seven eighths. Well, it's a little shy on that one. Oh well, we'll have to make her work. Oh, bye, Kelly. Uh, Sentuku block. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> I have a camel tail to redo because it's floating away from the body, but I just keep putting it off. <laughs> That's something you might need a zoologist for. <laughs> And how's Mona today? How's everybody today? You good? You having a good Saturday? Mr. Mike got to meet Jenny Doan of Missouri Star Quilt Company. Sent a picture. It's like me meeting a movie star. You're good? Awesome. That's good to hear there, June. We're good here, had a good week. Got some stuff done, got some packages mailed off, got my pumpkin part of my cross stitch all done. I've been working on the ribbon. I still haven't decided if I wanted to outline the pumpkin with a color or not. So, again, what's the drunk baboon doing this? What's going on here? Furry. Not once, but twice. <laughs> I know, seriously, right? <laughs> okay, now comes the fart part. Pressing them all. Okay, so let's move these pieces off to the side. Move our there to the side. So this is what we're working on. Okay. So what we're doing right here is all these little parts where they're joining, right here, and 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 here, are these pieces right here. Okay. So now we gotta press them to the dark. And we're gonna make 32 of these units and 24 of these units and 24 of these units. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so just move a little table closer. Move our iron a little closer. Sorry. Wake up the iron. Give it a moment. Stay hydrated, everybody. What are we having for dinner tonight? We're having pork roast, and I don't know what else. I think I said regular cheese pizza, but <laughs> just because we have it in the freezer, and I wouldn't mind it. I met Jenny, Jenny Joan when she came to Canada a few years back. We'll have to dig up my picture with her. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah, because when I take a picture with you and me with your winning quilt, then you have that picture of her, and it's like I'm in the picture with you guys. <laughs> I could I say I have a picture of me, but Jenny, Jenny don't. She doesn't want to meet. She wants you to ship it. Oh, oh okay. You missed that email, obviously. I did miss that email. Hey, you burst my bubble there, bud. <laughs> um, All right, okay. So there's other people involved in that conversation. Well, that's sad. Okay. Did she give an address at least? Can't mail uh, without an address. I would have to look at the spreadsheet. Okay. 
Oh, had I known that, I would have mailed it out already. Oh, oh it's still be bad. Okay. I'm about to start a small Halloween cross stitch. Oh, very nice. Very nice. She's working on a beautiful uh, uh, girl there, too. No, apparently I did not there, Marie France. I'm sorry. I did not get the message. It didn't pop up on my, my phone, so um, I must have been either signed out or something. I've done something to my phone, I'm sure. Went down a bus trip with three quilters to Jenny Doan. She is lovely, and we had three days there. Fab I bet. I bet. It was a good time. How can it not be? All right. Okay, so now we're going to press these all to the dark, okay? And we'll stack them up in their little piles afterwards. Yeah, exactly. What a fun trip. Fun trip, fun had by all. Okay, no worries. No worries. I didn't mean to make you feel bad. I, that was not, not my intent. I'm sorry. So, I, I understand completely. It just might be cheaper if I mail it from Ontario, so I may take it with me and mail it from there. You know what I mean? So, if you're, if you're okay with that. I can um, just put my, you know, father-in-law's address as a return if it just happened, or my own, so... Just to get mis misguided. Geese, yes, there was. <laughs> the gaggle of geese. <laughs> I noticed the, um, there's a place across the, um, uh, the road from us. It was empty until just after Allison left last year, the first time with her husband. Uh, oh, no, sorry. She didn't come twice last year. It was once this year. Um, and before Gwenny got here, they started building uh, a house. So, and then they, it was farmland. So this, this year was the first year it has been um, uh, cut. So there was a huge, huge gaggle of geese hanging out there when I went into the, the, the little town, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. I looked over, I was like, oh, wow, because now they have a place to, to land near the water, right? <laughs> they won't land in the tall grass, they'll only land in the short grass, right? So. And I don't see them in, the ba in our backyard very often. If anything, I see seagulls. Seagulls more than anything uh, landing back there, and the little little tiny black uh, brown kind of bird that th they fly in huge packs. I should be painting my bedroom instead. I'm cutting for a dr dresser girl. Oh, that that's a wonderful project. We'll have to do um, a stream on that too for sure. Dresser girl, yeah. No crows cawing? <laughs> no, not today. At least well, they were this morning. I don't know where they are now. So, at least there's not a whole lot of them. Oops. Okay. A moment to heat back up again. We're just going to work our way through our pile. I would love to meet you. Oh, yeah, I got you. No worries. No worries. You okay with that? All right, okay. Yeah, I'll just mail it when, when I'm there. I'll probably pack it up before we leave in a vacuum pack um, a bag, if I can get it in that size of bag. My, my sister Elizabeth sent me a big bag um, a couple, uh, last year, last year. Filled, it filled with clothes, of course. <laughs> Um, I don't know. They, the, they're not our cows, so they come and go as they please. I don't, I don't know where they are. We haven't seen them for in about a week. I guess they've been gone about a week. Back, 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 back. Okay. No, um, the last time. Yeah. When is the six hour guild me? Uh, Pop put it up in the chat already. I forgot uh, the date. Sorry, 28th. 28th. Sorry, 28th. Yeah. And we're going to work on a, a Halloween project, a big Halloween project. 
Uh, not too bad. Uh, Pop and I saw the two deer this morning munching on Bonnie and Clyde, the two um, plum trees. So that wasn't um, very nice at all. They were nubbing down the branches. I only have two, so. I know, Allison. That's the first thing I said. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, they're stripped bare. Yeah, Pop went and checked on them. They're stripped bare. The poor plum trees. And I think two of the apples. One, one of the well, one, one, one of the grannies or one of the yeah, yeah the it's one in the center. <laughs> tired them up. and then we scared them and then they were running on the other side of the house and then they jumped over the 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 fence and then they were in the backpack part around by the pond and then they just kept running and running and running to then they hopped over the other fence so dark side they had weird horns on them like i I've only seen the deer from afar, and then, fortunately, the ones that end up, you know, passing away in the road in front of the house. Um, so I don't didn't really, like, look at them, look at them, but they had, like, little, little horns. Antlers. <laughs> plum tuckered? <laughs> plum tired of them? I am plum tired of them doing it. Yeah, I'm trying to make fruit trees for my future. <laughs> and they're eating them. <laughs> Yes, it's sad. Sad. <clears throat> What's Miss Lois up to? I thought I saw her in the chat at the beginning, but she must be busy. Did she have something else going on today and I missed it? Oh, Ian's hilarious. He is very enjoyable to watch when he's streaming or his videos, so check him out. Check him out for sure. It's good, good times had by all. We're getting there. It's getting warm, though. Okay, a few more. He's doing, uh, I think it's from Legit uh, Quilts, is it, that you're doing? The boxer? The big boxer dog? Is that the, the it's a big boxer dog face? I thought it was legit kills. I, I could be wrong on the, on the place, though. There's so many different places here and there. So. No, I, I used the uh, squaring up ruler last time and just, and I'm like, okay, really, I'm just taking off the dog ears. So, could just clip them or double check by squaring them up with the ruler just to be on the safe side. Yeah, that's going to be my homework. <laughs> yeah, they are cute dogs. Yeah, Margo, the boxer from the Jig Kit. Okay, okay. Yeah. Are you are you putting some of that together on your videos or streams, or are you just doing that off and then off camera and showing it? I think our neighbor has a boxer. It's one of the yeah. bigger dogs. Yeah? The, the, she's so cute, though. Oh, my gosh. She's like the friendliest one of the batch, the biggest one. Funny, the little one's more like, it seems like it'll just gnaw your ankle off. I'm sure it's super cute and adorable, like, you know, and, and, it's, and a sweet puppy, but <laughs> for such a little size, it seems like it'll just gnaw you. I'm going for the toes, and I'm going to work my way up. Oh, bye, Nadine. Big hugs to you. Have a great one. Have a great week. Let me know when your box arrives. I've done a few of them live, uh, getting to the end and wanting to, yeah, I bet, I bet. It seems like it's quite the project. I think you said you spent like six hours working on part of the nose or the nose. I was like, oh my gosh, that's some serious time commit right there. 
But I understand that when it comes to those sorts of projects, you know, the peacock blocks was like an hour a block and, you know, that's just the sewing part, not all the time you took out to, to, to cut it and then square it up and then pull all the paper out and everything else. So it was, it was a huge, huge project. Now we're going to double check we have the amounts we're supposed to have because now's the time to fix that problem if it is a problem. Okay, so we needed 24 of the C's and D's and the B's and the D's. Okay, so let's just double check. This is the C and the D. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so that's great. 24 there. Check. All right, now these ones also need to be 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, and four, perfect, 24, done, check. Now these ones we need 32, okay? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two. Perfect. Thirty-two. Done. 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 Check. 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 Okay. So I will do this. Those uh, trimming up the dog ears as homework. We are going to cut the rest of the strips need that we are needed for this project out of the two and a half inches of the width of fabric. So we need two strips for a two, two and a half by 22 and a half. So that is our a color is our green. So we're going to take one strip and see if we can get a 22 and a half cut out of this. We might have to use two pieces. Yeah, we can't. No, it, we would have to use salvages and we don't want to use that. Okay, so let's lay two pieces out and we'll cut the 22 and a half. I mean, 32 pieces just for the head. <laughs> Never get that. <laughs> I have to, uh, okay, hold on. Two, two, two. Six hours on one of the eyeballs. Oh my gosh, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, 48 pieces per peacock feather. I was like, what did I sign myself up for? <laughs> what? <laughs> what did I do? What did I do? <laughs> All right, so this we need to be 22 and a half. Okay, we'll trim off the salvage. And that's... 10, 12, 22, hold on, 10, 20, two and a half, double check, 10, 20, two and a half, okay, now this is, sliding off the chair here, uh, when we had our apple orchard, we had well-mannered deer, they only ate what was on the ground, oh, really, well, that would be nice, <laughs> okay, so I already have my pieces cut here. So A2, two and a half by 22 and a half. Okay, so we're going to put that folded over so we don't lose this and clip it there. Exclamation pattern for the free pattern. Okay, so the next cut we need for our A is um, 
two at 14 and a half. Okay, and we should be able to get that out of this piece. I would think so. So 14 and a half. Yes, we can. Double check. Yes, we're good. Okay. Now this one here. And we just needed two of those. Okay, so we're going to take that and a clip. Put that off to the side. And then the next piece is eight at six and a half. Okay, can we get six and a half out of this chunk here? Yes, just by the skin of our chinny chin chin. Okay, so we need eight of them. So let's do this stack here. Here and this right on top. We'll put that right there. And that'll give us four by using up the rest of the one strip and using the rest of the other. Okay, so six and a half. So that's four of them and we need um, eight. Okay. So can this go again for s Yes, it can. Okay, so we should get another two out of this one. That'll definitely be a, a lot easier. We don't want to waste anything if we don't have to. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's a free one and it's beautiful. Like you can see the dogs playing poker behind me and then I have it, with, I'm gonna do the fall pattern for it. And, and then um, I've got ones with penguins. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half. There we go. And then we got four, one, two, three, four, five, six and a half. And that gives us our eight. Okay, that is our eight one cuts. A two and a half by six and a half. We have eight of those. And then we just need one more cut of four at two and a half inches square. And that is not big enough. Okay, so we just need four two and a half inch squares out of this strip. And then the rest is extra. So there does seem to be a bit extra. I guess it depends on how you cut it too. So, okay, so we've got two and a half and a two and a half okay and those are that cut there's our little tab for it and we clip it and put it over there so that is all of our a pieces done this is what is left of a okay the rest of it's el garboges okay so next one we got color b which we are going to cut into um two at 14 inches and 10 at six and a half. So let's get the two at 14 first, because that's the bigger cut. Always try and cut the bigger one first. So we've got 14 and a half. And we need two of them. There. Okay, so there's my B's. And this is B two. And we needed two of them, right? Let's just make sure. Hold on. Do, 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 do. 14 and a half, two, yes. And then 10 at six and a half. Okay. All right, so this should piece right here should give me a six and a half. No, it does not. But if I fold it out, I will. But let's just check and see what we can get from these guys. We've got two strips here. And we need to get 10. Okay, I don't know if we're going to get that, but we're going to try. Okay, this is on a half. Okay, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Four, five, six, half. Double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. And a half. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we do. Okay. Just okay. So those, those, and minus two of those go over here. So that is B done. Now on to C. So the cuts don't take you very long. Okay. All right. C. We've got is the tan and black. Okay. From that we need. 
12 six and a half by two and four at four and a half. Okay, so let's do the 12 six and a half. We'll lay three strips on top of each other because that'll give us six, right? Oh, this is a little folded. Let's uh, give that a little heat loving. Okay. Set the piece. Oh, set them the right sides. I feel a fold in here, but I just don't know where it is. Oh, there it is at the bottom of this one. Okay. Oh, itchy nose now. Got a nice clean edge. Okay, so just confirming that I need 12 at six and a half. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six and a half. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the half is over there. So that gives me my 12, okay? And that is the C's, 12 at six and a half, and then we need the four and a halves, which are four of them. We should be able to get that out of two of these cuts, okay? One, two, three, four, and ah, okay, and there, and clipped. I recycled an old envelope, <laughs> and there's my extra bits from that part. Now the last is the black. Our orange is our outside border part, so we'll just put that off to the side, okay. And then for the black pieces here, we need two at 18 and a half, so we're definitely going to need to do uh we should be able to get that one strip yep perfect so two at 18 and a half let's get that one sorted first the big one so what do we have we have we're at 41 so that's 10 and then 23 and then a half right do 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 make a jury make a jury make a jury make a jury 18 and a half this is and that's two of them. And that is D2. Let's grab our pieces of paper. D2, 18 and a half. Anybody have any questions about this so far? Yeah, any questions, Betty? Just message me or if, if you want, um, I'm happy to help. Okay, the next cut is 10 and a half. We'll leave this cut over here to the side. We just never know what we might need that one for. Okay, so the next is four at ten and a half. So we're gonna have to do that this way. Okay. Cut the salvages off. We'll count ourselves ten and then a half and cut. Okay. So that is that at ten and a half. Okay, and now we need 28 at six and a half, and then we need four at four and a half, and then six two and a half inch squares. Okay, so let's do this and this. We'll take these ones out here. Here, so we need 28, okay, at six and a half. So this will give us four, four stacks. And that'll give us six. And that'll give us eight. Yeah, let's go that way. So just confirming, we are cutting 28 at, for six and a half. Scoop that up. Um, oh, it's funny how everyone is very quiet while she 
counts in customer. <laughs> they don't. They don't want to make any noise. I mean, make a boo boo. <laughs> Which I appreciate. Actually, that's a bit shy on the salvage there. So let's scoot that up a bit. <laughs> okay. All right. So six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a half. So that's that's eight, right? And then one, two, three, four, five, six and a half. That's 16, right? And then one, two, three, four, five, six. We've already got the half. And that's what, 24, right? Okay, and then we've got this little guy here. You know what, that one's folded. We can get a couple of squares out of that once we give it some heat loving. So what did I need? I needed four more, right? Four more at six and a half. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh -huh. Okay, that's that one already. It's D one or six and a half. It's a bit thick there. Get it all pinched in, okay? And then we need four and a half and two and a half. Okay, so four and a half, we need four of them. That's all right. We do that right here, right now. Two, three, four. Okay. A little clip. And then the D5s are two and a half inch squares, and I need six of them. Okay, so we can get that right out of here, too. Okay, without having to press the other bits. So six, we got eight, two off to the side. Okay, that is all the other parts we need. Unless I'm missing any of the square cuts on the other ones. No, we just need it for the first and the last. Okay. Okay. All right, so this is what we have left over from the cuts. So, and plus I've got some other squares over there. So it is a little bit. You could uh, sew a little something, something. Mm, well, hello there, Miss So Becca, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing today? What do you think of this panel? I, I, uh, I did a dog, dogs playing poker. <laughs> Oh, my sister's here too? Oh, my sister say hello, Lisa. Or is it Elizabeth? Is Elizabeth actually fine? Shall we show? No, no Lisa. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, hello, sister Lisa. <laughs> hello, Beatrix. How's Miss So Becca? You were on the, Sean, the guy who sews this morning. Looked like you were having fun. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think I'd ever see my sister Elizabeth here. I was just talking about you, Lisa, actually. I was talking about the bag you made Claire and how beautiful it was. And what's Miss Sobeka up to? Mm -hmm. I made her a little gifty gift and she got it this week. So I was happy. I was happy. Okay, and now we got all of our bits cut to do this whole project with... Uh, the fold panel. Okay. This one right here. Isn't it pretty? So we're going to do this design. This design here. Even though it's on horizontal, we're going to do it on the first one. Vertical. The pattern does show it vertical, but I just wanted to show you that you can do it so many different ways. Well, that's exactly it, too. <laughs> and, and, the, and the different panels being used, too, so... And pretty colors, just took from my stash busting, using what I have here to make something beautiful. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Anybody have any questions? Exclamation uh, pattern for the free pattern. Yep, yep, yep. Make sure you're staying hydrated. Mm -hmm. And the 
you have the oh do you I still oh yeah it's already it's I actually have one that's already sewed into one. Oh, what did I do with it yeah I'm still in the process of trying to figure out how I want to use up some bolts of fabric to to make a pattern for that so yeah unfortunately I felt a little ill so I did have a couple ideas now it's a question as to whether I can implement it or not all right, so let's check and see uh, a couple of our pieces here and if they actually come up to about two and a half by two and a half. So, there's our little square number. Okay. Mm, it's a great, uh, it is, it's a great uh, panel project uh, for sure. So, for two and a half by two and a half, we need right in there and there. Let's line that up. A little shy on that edge here, but if you if you look, really, uh, no, Sass didn't make it. Uh, she shared it in a group though. This is an e quilt, e quilter free project. Okay. Uh, quilt designed by e quilter. Okay. So. I I if Sass has developed a pattern. I would love to 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 do it for sure. Yeah, so that comes to about two and a half. So it really just have to clip off all clip off all the, the dog ears. Okay. So there's that one that's just taking random ones from the pile here. This is where it needs to be on this two and a half inch line. See? And it's just literally that there and that there just needs to be clipped off. Okay. So if if you did it good enough, right? You just have to Clip all those. So fun stuff. It's gonna make a little bit of a mess. <laughs> yeah. Got your shout over. Oh, for the, got the t-shirt. Very nice. Wearing it right now. Cool. Very nice. I'm just wearing a tank top and then my sweater. <laughs> Great. Have a collection. I haven't figured out what I want to do with it yet. I'm taking it, taking back over the master bedroom and thinking of curtains and a quilt. Oh, that would be nice. That would be nice. Actually, that would match. That would match. Because it would put the butterfly together, or the the flowery thing kind of looks like a butterfly. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you like your t-shirt, Katie. It's some nice cotton. It's a really nice cotton t-shirt for sure. Yeah, I would like the colors that Papa ordered the last time. The ones with the team cheese and team chocolate on uh, either side of the arms. So, yeah. Uh, oh yes, yes, yes. She used it. She actually, I think she used it twice, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I was looking down when I said something about that earlier, so I don't know. Um, I, th I think she did it twice. One was a, like a, a fairy girl pattern, and I can't remember the second one. I just remember the one with the pinks and the purples. It was just so beautiful the way it popped out. So yeah, it's the only thing I, the, that uh, that I remember. There, Kathy Darla. So now who's Jenny Anderson today? We good? Yeah, free panel. Uh, free, not sorry, free project for a panel. And we buy panels all the time and not know what we're going to do with it. So this would work in Christmas colors, in fall colors. Uh, you pick colors to match the quilt like I did in this one. The other one I picked to kind of like fall colors and also colors to, that match the quilt that I could pick out a little bit. Of what I had in my stash here. It looked super awesome with just the green and the black around it when I took a picture. I was like, oh wow, that's so bright because it was bringing out all the little bright tones in the, like around the light and around the picture frames and stuff like that. There's a little bit of light green. So it was, it was bringing up that, it was really lovely. And it was just making the whole panel pop. I'm like, wow, that's definitely a way to use one. And um, it requires a 34 and a half by 42 and a half, but if your panel isn't that way, you can always just add a border to it and then start this project, right? Add it, add it on, make it that way. So that's it, a Rapunzel panel and a Tinkerbell. Oh, okay. Okay. That's what it was. Thank you. Thank you, Lois. Appreciate that. I knew she did it twice. I just couldn't remember the other one. Tinkerbell. Okay. I knew, um, the, uh, Rapunzel, but I, I think I just called it a fairy because I wasn't quite sure. Mm, here, oh, no, no worries, Jenny. There's always replay if you wanted to. So, 
Uh, Miss uh, Stephanie Stitches is live at 5 today if you wanted to go check out her channel. I think she's got a guest from Legit Kits, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong there, but uh, if you're interested, uh, go, go check out her channel. She's a lovely lady. She just came back from retreat, doing retreats. So, yeah, go, go check her out. She's good fun. Okay. She's always got some lovely blocks going on in, the, in her background. So, go see what she's up to. All right, other than that, we will continue this uh, next weekend, right? Yes. yes, we're here next weekend. Okay, uh, and um, I will get some of my homework done. And it doesn't take very long to get those rows together, like putting them together. You've got to lay out two, one for each side. So we're going to do the long sides and then the top, and then long, top, long, top, long, top, till we're done. Okay? Yeah. So super fun and super pretty. Really easy. As you can see, it's, it's the same here, except mine it goes this way. But it's the same principle, okay? Thank you, Pat Remish Schneider, for hanging out with us today. Thank you, every single one of you, for your time, your love, your hugs, all of it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. We will be for Cross Stitch Tuesday this week just fine. Uh, my third infusion is on Thursday, so on the 28th, okay? So, and it should be the last one that I have to stay an hour later to see whether I react to the meds or not okay so hopefully fingers crossed <laughs> I won't have to stay as long after that so oh you're gonna say goodbye you're popping in to say goodbye <laughs> all right we'll see you Tuesday everybody big hugs to you stay out of trouble I know it's hard I know if it, follow, if it follows you home it's not your fault that's all I'm saying okay see you later bye smoochies <laughs>